Imagine running powerful AI, not on a massive power-hungry GPU cluster, but on a simple laptop CPU. Sounds impossible, right? Well, Microsoft just shattered AI hardware limits with their groundbreaking new model, BitNet B 1.58. In a world obsessed with bigger, heavier models, BitNet flips the script, packing serious intelligence into a tiny, ultra-efficient package. Today, we're diving into why BitNet B 1.58 isn't just another AI release. It's the ultimate game-changer that could redefine everything from laptops to edge devices. Let's get into it. BitNet B 1.58 isn't just another AI model, it's a complete rethink of how large language models can be built and run. Instead of relying on massive 32-bit or even 8-bit precision weights like traditional models, BitNet compresses everything down to just three possible values, negative 1, 0, or positive 1. The result? Each weight only needs 1.58 bits of information. That's not a typo. It's a radical shift that slashes memory usage and power demands without gutting performance. But here's where it gets even crazier. BitNet doesn't need a fancy GPU. It's trained and designed to operate efficiently on standard CPUs with minimal memory, even fitting inside the cache layers of everyday laptop chips. When tested on an Apple M2, it was able to generate 5 to 7 tokens per second, fast enough for real-time applications, while drawing up to 96% less energy than traditional full-precision models. And the size? While typical 2 billion parameter models hog around 2 to 5 gigabytes of memory, BitNet cruises at just 400 megabytes. That's smaller than many mobile games, meaning even lightweight ultrabooks can run it without breaking a sweat. In simple terms, BitNet B 1.58 smashes the old idea that powerful AI needs expensive, heavy-duty hardware. It's not about bigger anymore. It's about smarter, lighter, and more accessible AI for everyone. Now, you might be thinking, sure, BitNet is small and efficient, but does it actually perform? Here's the shocking part. BitNet B 1.58 doesn't just keep up. It competes head-to-head -head with heavyweight open-source models that still carry their full floating-point baggage. Let's talk numbers. BitNet was trained on a staggering 4 trillion tokens, and when it was put to the test across 17 different benchmark challenges, it delivered a macro-average score of 54.19%. That's barely a point behind models like Quen 2.5, which sits at 55.23%, and Quen still uses standard float precision and requires significantly more memory and power. But where BitNet truly shines is in logical reasoning and complex problem solving. On the ARC challenge, one of the toughest benchmarks for common sense reasoning, BitNet topped the charts with an impressive 49.91% accuracy. On the ARC Easy benchmark, it scored 74.79%, outperforming every rival in its weight class. And on the notoriously tricky Winograndi dataset, designed to trip up AI models with subtle logic twists, BitNet again pulled ahead with a 71.9% accuracy. Even in mathematical reasoning, where precision often kills low-bit models, BitNet stunned researchers. On GSM 8K, a demanding math benchmark, it achieved a 58.38% exact match score, beating out every other 2 billion parameter float-based model, and even outperforming Quen 2.5 while sipping a fraction of the energy. And when compared against post-quantized 4-bit models, where full-size models are compressed after training, BitNet still holds its ground. Compressed models like Quen 2.5 shrank their size but lost nearly 3 full points of accuracy, while BitNet held its score steady proving that training natively at low precision is a far superior strategy. In short, BitNet doesn't just survive with lower bits, it thrives. It shows the AI world that you can achieve elite-level intelligence without elite-level hardware. No floating-point luxury required. The real magic of BitNet B 1.58 isn't just in lab tests or academic benchmarks, it's in how it could reshape the real world. First, let's talk about accessibility. Today, running a serious AI model usually means you need high-end GPUs like NVIDIA's H100s, expensive cloud servers, or massive clusters. That's not just costly. It locks powerful AI behind walls that most individuals, startups, and small businesses can't scale. But BitNet smashes that barrier. Because it's light enough to run on regular laptop CPUs, suddenly AI becomes democratized. We're talking about real-time AI copilots, offline chatbots, smart keyboards, and edge device AI, all without draining batteries or racking up cloud bills. Imagine having an AI as smart as some of today's best models, directly on your phone, your ultrabook, or even a tiny IoT device. No more dependency on data centers, no more insane energy costs, no more privacy worries about sending sensitive data to the cloud. BitNet could make local, private, fast AI the new normal, a huge shift for industries like healthcare, education, finance, and personal technology. 
But Microsoft isn't stopping here. According to their research paper, BitNet B1.58 is just the beginning. The team is already planning to scale this approach to even larger models, 7 billion, 13 billion parameters and beyond, still using the native low-bit training that gave BitNet its edge. They're also calling for a new generation of hardware accelerators, a chip specifically designed to handle ternary weights and low-bit math natively. If specialized processors are built around BitNet's architecture, we could see AI speeds soar even higher while energy consumption drops even lower, unlocking a wave of hyper-efficient AI devices. And the roadmap doesn't stop at scale and hardware. The Microsoft team openly acknowledges current limitations. Context length needs to stretch beyond 4K tokens for longer document handling. Multilingual capabilities are still in early stages. Expanding beyond English is a key goal. Multimodal integration, blending text, images, and other data is still unexplored territory for ternary models. Yet the most fascinating open question is, why does this brutal quantization work so well? The researchers admit there's still a mystery about how learning trajectories survive with only three possible weight values. Expect future papers diving into bit flip resilience, lost landscapes, and new theories of efficient AI learning. In other words, BitNet B1.58 isn't just a model, it's the first step in a whole new era of AI development. Smaller, faster, cheaper, and maybe even smarter. The future it hints at, every device could become an intelligent device. And the old rule, that AI innovation had to mean bigger models and bigger hardware, might soon be broken for good. To truly understand the weight of what Microsoft has done with BitNet B1.58, we have to zoom out and look at the bigger picture of where AI is headed. For years, the AI race has been a game of bigger, faster, and more expensive. Every break through seem to demand more GPUs, more memory, more electricity, and billion-dollar server farms just to keep pace. OpenAI's GPT-4, Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Claude, all incredible models, but ones built on the assumption that bigger is always better. BitNet challenges that philosophy head-on. It proves that brilliant engineering, not brute force, can drive the next wave of AI innovation. Instead of feeding the arms race for more H100s and bigger clusters, BitNet shows a smarter path. Rethink the fundamentals, strip the system down, build models that are efficient from the ground up. This shift could have massive ripple effects. Hardware democratization. We may see a surge of affordable consumer devices, smartphones, smart glasses, home assistants, running full AI models locally. Environmental impact. By slashing energy needs by up to 96%, BitNet-like models could drastically cut the carbon footprint of AI operations. Global access. Emerging markets that can't afford giant GPU farms could leap into the AI era using lightweight CPUs and ultrabooks instead of high-end infrastructure. Edge AI explosion, smart IoT devices, autonomous vehicles, portable medical scanners, all powered by efficient, localized AI that doesn't depend on cloud connections. And that's just scratching the surface. BitNet B1.58's approach also lays the groundwork for resilient AI models, models that can tolerate noisy environments, hardware faults, and data imperfections better than their fragile, full-precision ancestors. By operating natively on low-bit representation, representations, these models could be more robust, more adaptable, and more secure. Critical traits as AI starts to permeate every layer of society. On top of that, Microsoft's call for custom low-bit accelerators signals something even bigger, a future where entire industries, from chip manufacturing to mobile devices, start optimizing for efficient AI rather than brute computational horsepower. Think about it, we could soon enter a world where your phone, your laptop, even your smartwatch runs advanced AI models privately, instantly, with minimal battery drain, all thanks to breakthroughs like BitNet. The race won't just be about whose model is bigger, it'll be about whose AI is smarter per watt, per byte, per dollar. BitNet B, one point could be the first domino that tips the entire ecosystem toward this new future. Microsoft may have just quietly planted the seeds of a revolution that will bloom over the next few years, reshaping AI from the inside out. BitNet B1.58 isn't just another model on the leaderboard, it's a glimpse into the future of AI. A future where smaller, smarter, and more efficient beats bigger, louder, and more expensive. A future where powerful AI runs in your pocket, not just in billion-dollar data centers. Microsoft has shattered the old rules with BitNet and they're just getting started. As hardware evolves, as models grow even sharper, and as Edge AI becomes the new normal, BitNet's impact could ripple across every device, every industry, every home. This is more than just a technical achievement. It's a shift in what we believe is possible. If you're as excited about where AI is heading as I am, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and let's ride this revolution together. The age of smarter, lighter, and faster AI has begun, and BitNet B 1.58 just opened the door. I'll see you in the next one.